Welcome to FX Street. Today we are going to talk about Polygon and how price action is set to re-enter the beloved trend channel. But before we dive into the technicals, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FX Street Crypto to be updated on the hottest trends in the cryptocurrency market. If we have a look on an hourly chart, uh, sorry, on a daily chart uh, for uh, Polygon's Matic, we will see a very solid and good uptrend and we can even highlight a few important levels which is for example the bounce on the 200 day simple moving average if you have a closer look you will see we had a very nice firm break even the top close yes the day after we took over bulls tested the 175 handle but got a little bit bit rejected but kept strong bullish signal and the day thereafter came back to test the 200 day simple moving average in order then only to go one directional up and even breach the beloved upward trend channel that we have in place since uh, around mid uh, mid July all in all still very bullish and Add to that another similar pattern that we can see from yesterday and today, where we, for example, on Monday, we see a clear break through above the monthly pivot, retrace, test on the pivot at uh, around 1.87. And then today, again, another bullish candle, which shows that bulls are there and they are buying each possible dip or lower entry point that is offered to them. So that would mean that uh, either today or at least by Friday, we should be entering in our uh, red zone from the trend channel, the lower end of the trend channel. You've seen big hurdle there. That is the 55 day simple moving average around uh, two points, uh, $1. Uh, which will be proven a little bit difficult to to tackle as you can see from previous price section we broke below came back up and here we yeah bulls slide did not touch it on the tick but still uh, it goes to show that it will be a place where bears have entry to push against the bulls and try to go in for a short squeeze or anything like that in the meantime, RSI could take up a little bit towards the over sold, uh, sorry, overbought barrier. So we need to keep that in mind. If you are an investor who is still sidelined and wants to enter, I would rather look again for another entry at the pivot or wait for the breakthrough. And then when it bounces back below on the 55, that would be a nice entry then to go long again towards to $2.50, for example. So if we would have a look, if we did that, for example, by next week, that would mean by next week, we would see a 17 percentage gain. Uh, and that would mean as well that for investors who are already using or at around the pivot entry, they will be in there to book a 33% gain by the end of next week. But that all depends if current positive tailwinds uh, keep persisting as investors have shrugged off all the hawkish comments from central banks and are now looking forward and are putting their money back into more risky assets. Of course, any negative news could easily turn a sentiment and that would mean then that we see either another rejection of this trend line or the 55 where bears then would come in massively push price action back down to the pivot and then finally to the 1.75 handle over here, which is again a very historical old level, which has been, give or take, been quite very well, quite respected since June, as you can see from the dotted lines that I've put below and, and added, I even forgot the two here to mark up. So it goes to show that this is quite a pivotal historical level, which often alludes to either an uptrend or in this case, for example, here, a short downtrend. So very key to look for and will be possibly be important to give support. In the meantime, an additional factor I just want to add that is that 200 day moving average with the subtick 
will come in a bit higher as well. So uh, expect this to be a, a double belt support, which would certainly then keep uh, price action from falling any further. That's it for Matic. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FX Street Crypto.